What is up everyone? I'm out here in the Arizona Museum of Natural History in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm at my personal favorite display, the Paleozoic Seas exhibit. So as you can see, this is why it's my favorite. We have this really cool model of a cymoriform known as cymorium. So this is very sharky. It looks a lot like a shark, but it's actually been hypothesized to be more closely related to ratfish which nowadays are sharks more adorable cousins, I would say, but way back in the Paleozoic, they weren't as adorable. At least some of them like this one weren't. So they kind of believe that this is a ratfish relative because of the otic labyrinth arrangement and the arrangement of the brain space from cymoriforms that have been discovered which is something that's kind of unique within the ratfish line or the eucondrocephalans. But yeah, so another really interesting feature on these that also kind of conveys mystery in their phylogeny is the presence of a cladodont style tooth design. So a cladodont tooth is basically a really long median cusp with lateral cusplets and a lingually extended tooth base. So what's interesting about that is there are some elasmobranchs or shark relatives that are more closely related to sharks than ratfish um, that have a cladodon style tooth design. Think like Glycomanius and Cyvotus, but also you have cymoriforms which have that like Cymorium, Stethacanthus, and some other ones that have that same overall style tooth design. So that really conveys mystery as to where exactly these should be placed phylogenetically. They've been both lumped within the cladodontomorpha, but that could be paraphyletic or even polyphyletic based on the brain case findings.